All right, we're gonna change the oil on the seven ton today. It, I haven't put that many miles on it, but it's probably been about three years, so it's time. It's currently 98 degrees, so I'd rather not work in the yard today. It'd be nice to be inside in the shade. All right, so we're under the truck, and the last time I changed this was February 2020. It had 1,250 hours and 11,700 miles. So let's break this filter loose. All right, so we're under the truck. We got a drain pan handy. Let's see how big of a mess we can make. gonna be a mess. We got a big piece of cardboard from an old water heater down here, so that should help. This is a great spot while we're here to store like cribbing. So under the passenger uh steps this is like a four by 12 i guess good place to store it anyway we'll let that drain for a minute all right so we're up in the cab my kids leave me little love notes in the dust but currently i've got 1440 hours so here's the ma here's the math changed the oil originally back in uh, february of 2020 it's now september 23 so that's three and a half years it's only got 190 hours and only 3,500 miles, so probably don't need to change the oil, but after three and a half years, I mean, what are you going to do, wait for five years? So this just means I need to change the, or I'm sorry, drive the truck more. <laughs> All right, so it's just about done draining. So the oil's kind of black, so not a bad time to change it. Let's see how big of a mess I can make here. It's too slippery to touch. This thing's got a mile of threads. How many of you guys are saying, oh, you should have pop pop popped a hole in the bottom? To drain it so I didn't have to deal with this. That would have been smart. Too bad of a mess. All 
Well, looking back, that was stupid. I should, totally should have popped a hole in that filter and let it drain, but hindsight's 2020. Luckily, nothing got hurt except for my feelings, and the cardboard caught everything. So, All right, so last oil change, <clears throat> I used that drain plug with the red paint on it right there. And there was some, uh, some shavings on the magnet, nothing too crazy. So that's passenger side. So I remembered this this oil change we're going to use. Uh, where is it? That drain plug right there. And I fought and fought and fought with it like it was too tight. I had a half inch ratchet with an extension, wouldn't cut it. Used the breaker bar, still wouldn't budge. Used Milwaukee Impact on level three, and it still wouldn't break it. Using the half inch drive uh, that's, that's up there in the center of the nut. So then I switched over to, this is inch and five eighths socket, and man, it busted free right away. So I think the extensions, you lose some torque, especially with an impact as they twist. So off camera, I got it uh, loose. Now I think I can take it out by hand. And now the real mess will, uh, will happen, we'll see. All right, we're set up to pull the drain plug, which is right up here. I don't know how guys guys film under a, a car. It's tight. There's no lighting, but let's see what can happen here. It's, it's I know oil is going to pour all over that uh, tie rod end, but at least it won't rust, I guess. in here for a close up. So I'm looking through this hole in the frame. And what I do is I get it right there and then just kind of pull it out a little. Don't, don't pull the plug out completely. And then I can just stop it. Yeah, I mean that oil is pretty pretty dark. It was time. So I'm still just holding the bolt right here and I can just shut it off or let it flow. Because I only have one five gallon bucket and she's about full. So I've got to use these little drain pans to catch the rest. We're about five gallons of at about 10 in here, so. All right, so now we're just down to pans, but I think I can kind of regulate the flow here.
that's starting to splash. I'm gonna cut that off. All right, reload. In my last video, some guys suggested getting like a kiddie pool from a, like Walmart. But it's hard to use it as a pool after it's been had oil in it. And I, if I only ever do this every four years, I'm not buying a kiddie pool. Or I've seen the big rig, it's like a cart on wheels. You can just slide up under and they hold I don't know, 25 gallons or something. But I'm not doing that when I've got all these pans. If I did this any more often, I might. So there we go. That's the plug completely out, and we're draining like free now. The other one, <laughs> the other one had metal on it. Oh, well, I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, look at this thing. There's nothing on there. I'll wipe it off with a, a clean towel. But we're draining. All right, so that's just about done. A little trickle left. Uh, some cat stuff's really cool. It's got a real thick O-ring on it that I'm sure you can replace, but it looks like it's kind of embedded in there. So here's the clean cloth. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. So I think we're in pretty good shape. All right, so we're going to let that drain. Uh, for a little bit, clean this up. I don't know if I can do this on camera. Let me sit up. I'm going to switch over. All right, so we got the old filter over here. We'll cut that open in another video, see what it looks like. The new filter, now, a lot of debate on whether to pre-fill these or not. I have seen some cat filters specifically say do not pre-fill them. This one just says there's a little oil can to oil the threads, thread it on, and give it one extra turn after the gasket seats. This has got to hold two gallons. I couldn't imagine letting the engine run for that, you know, it's only maybe only a few seconds, but for that long with zero oil pressure. So I'm going to fill it. We're going to make a mess too, but oh well. All right, so so far that took a, about half this. So maybe maybe a gallon and a half, maybe a gallon and three quarter. I'm going to put that back on now. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. It's not draining. Uh, it's not filling anymore, so we'll go ahead and thread that on. All right, let's get this thing screwed in here. Right, well, maybe no one pre-fills them because they're too damn, <laughs> too damn heavy to lift and get the threads lined up. All right, let me get some torque on this thing. Oh, 
Okay. Now we'll write. Nine. Twenty-three. <clears throat> it's fourteen forty hour and fifteen two seventy-eight. There we go. Alright, now this thing's done dripping, so we'll tighten up the drain plug. All right, it's hard to see up in here, but <clears throat> that Pittman arm tie rod end isn't gonna, it's gonna rust anytime soon. So there's the hole, it's just trickling out. We'll go ahead and close it up. This is the only real spot I had to look through. And I got that all cleaned up. I'll have to tighten that off camera. All right, this part's no fun either, holding these big bucket, five gallon buckets up. But, add a little Lucas. All right, that was probably just a quart of Lucas. These new buckets are cool. They got this vent on the top, so you don't have to pour it upside down. One down, one to go. That first bucket wasn't full. It probably only had three or four gallons in it. So we'll fire it up, check the oil level. I'm sure someone's going to comment that I didn't start the truck and warm it up before I drained the oil to get the oil to flow better. It's 98 degrees out. I don't know how much thinner I wanted the oil. <laughs> All right, cover your ears. This beeper's loud. loved how low these trucks have for oil pressure but oh well okay let's see how low we are I imagine it'll be a gallon or so low 
we will find out. Now I gotta let this thing sit a little longer. Ah, it says full. Try that one more time. barely see right by the U there so I'll let it sit for a while check it again fire it back up check it again anyway thanks for watching come back I'm gonna make another video of cutting open a fuel filter coolant uh, filter and that oil filter we just pulled have a good one